Okay, so we're gonna talk about this guy. Underscore underscore name. So name is a special variable. We don't even need this main function here right now. I'm just gonna do this. Uh, so name is a special variable which is related specifically to how this particular module was invoked. What module? The one that we are in right now that I just wrote, this one. This code, this file. Okay. So if I run this, you can see that it says down here, main. Mm -hmm. So that is, in fact, this. In fact, let's do it this way so you can see. So it's just a string, and it just says under, under, main, under, under. And that's because I invoked this module directly. I said, like, Python name.py, and it runs that exact command. If I make a second module, um, so we're going to put the exact same thing into this one. What is this? What is what? Is this your text editor? Yes. Oh. Um, right, so if I run this one directly, this is different now. This is name 2. You can see down here at the bottom. Mm -hmm. The output should be, in fact, the same. Yes. Uh, I'll put two of them just so we can tell them apart. Right. So that's the same as this over here. But if I first in one of them, import the other. Oh, is this even valid? Yeah, it is. Okay. Then, um, oh, yeah, I'm going to have to rename this. Anyway, then when we get to this statement, this module is going to be run. And when it's run, we'll get to these lines where we're supposed to print under under name, but it's going to be something different because it won't be main because this one is main. So you can see here, it was name two over in this area. And then in ours, it was main. And I have to rename this thing now, call it name rig, so that I can import it here without obliterating anything. Uh, I guess I didn't actually need to do that as, you know, whatever. We're not going to actually use this module. We just want to import it and see what happens. And we don't want the circular import. OK, so um, ignore the magic. OK, uh, so now if we run this side, we see over here its name, because that was the name of this module. You can see under, under, name, under, under. And then over here again, it's main. So when you have a statement like this, I'll just type it out. If name equals under under main, oops, then you know that this implies that we ran this directly. Like not imported. Right. And why do you want to know that? Like, what happens to indicate that you ran it directly? Uh, like, right now you have print, but over here... Well, where is so the reason you care is because you might want... Say, for example, we had some functions over here. Like, imagine that this oh, guy... Oh, I see. They, they did their thing. Uh, so if we're running it directly... Right, but if, I mean, there are, depending on what you're doing, this might be kind of redundant, right? So, like, the only time this actually matters is if you might want to import this module instead of just running it. So, let's say this was some function like, I don't know, like your hangman game or whatever, and you had some cool function in here like do something interesting, interesting. So now there's this function, uh, 
here, right? Mm -hmm. And so we can run our program and see that it ran just fine. But let's say we wanted to use this in another program. Mm -hmm. We can over here Now we have an, a second program here, mm -hmm. and I haven't done the if name main thing yet. And we can run that one and see beep beep. But you can see that even though we imported this one, it didn't run this. When we ran it on this side, we got boop. When we import it, it runs all this code, but because name is not equal to main when you're importing it, this part doesn't get run. Which means that your app or whatever doesn't start it just gives you all the functions that are in the module so now we have access to n dot do something interesting and we can do you know whatever mm -hmm. so we can use things that are in this module without having to run it like a program in a way you can choose to run it you could choose to run it if you want like here I'm calling in fact the function yeah, but you're saying so like, normally it's this like would a be choice now. You just what? If, what if you take that if name is mean away and then I mean do this? this is all just code, right? It just runs as code. The only reason that this doesn't get run is because name is not equal to main. But take it away. Sure. And so now you see it happens twice. Okay. The first time when we import it, and the second so time when we call it ourselves. So if equals main, just lets it so that. It doesn't run automatically. It name is only equal to main when you directly run this file. Yeah, when but you it import allows it, you to import and not have it run right away. Right. It allows you to discriminate between those two cases. Okay. That's all it's for, really. And so normally you would put like your your entry point for your program down here, and so then you'd have a main function which actually has your logic and stuff in it, like, you know, whatever. Let's just do something interesting. And then, if you wanted to import this thing, oh, got rid of it. I mean, you can even run the function called main. And you can do whatever you want. Uh, and one common use for this is, for example, like, say you have a whole bunch of functionality up here, and then down here you put some tests. So that if you run this file, it will test to make sure everything's working. But when you import it, the tests don't run. That's just one use. There may be many other uses. I mean, you can do whatever you want with it. But anyway, that's what this uh, under under name is for. Okay.